Well, it's another beautiful day of van life. Last night we got to New Orleans and we parked at a Walmart overnight. And then this morning we went to Planet Fitness, got ourselves some exercise and got ourselves cleaned up a little bit. We don't stink anymore. And now I get a special treat. We are at City Park and we're at the Botanical Gardens. Last time we were in New Orleans, we didn't get to do the Botanical Garden. So today we're going to check it out. This time we're doing it because I have my reciprocal program through the Botanical no, the American Horticultural Society, and we get in for free. <laughs> Apparently we're starting out in the edible garden, but I'm not sure what these things are. I think I finally figured out what this is. There's a label that says Red Zinger Hibiscus. And I've had Red Zinger tea before, so that must be what's used for the tea. Cool, huh? Is this not the cutest thing? Steve and I spent quite a bit of time watching these trains. There's something so whimsical about train gardens. I think we have found the succulents. That looks like a Dr. Seuss character, doesn't it? Yeah. That's super funky. I love cacti. Look at these tiny little flowers on these cacti. We love exploring gardens because you'll never know what you'll find. There's always a variety of beautiful plants, of course, but also fun little details in the unique designs of each garden and often a butterfly flitting around or some other little critter. We like following the meandering paths and seeing what's around each bend. Very pretty. Almost as pretty as you. We're talking. Now we're in my tropical paradise. See, look. Whoa. 
<laughs> wow, that's a fish. That's <laughs> huge. Is that a gar? I have no idea. It's a solid four footer, whatever it is. <laughs> Isn't this beautiful? That's definitely one of our favorite things about New Orleans. Oh, yeah. We just left City Park and there that band was playing out on the street by that restaurant. How fun. So now we're heading to Frenchman Street just outside of downtown New Orleans and well, I guess it's in downtown. We're hoping to hear more music like that. All right, well, I think we found ourselves a nice parking spot right here close to Frenchman Street. We double checked everything. Looks like it's free parking, so we're good to go. All right, let's go. Thank <laughs> you. 
Another morning and that much closer to getting back to Florida to spend some time with family for the holidays. We enjoyed our time in New Orleans yesterday and now we're heading through Mobile and heading back to the Panhandle. Everybody. Last night we spent uh, a night at Cracker Barrel in Gulfport. We left New Orleans and we started making our way east. Now we're in Alabama in a town called Daphne. Or Daphne to normal people. <laughs> <laughs> Found ourselves a nice little park. A bit of a secondary park, but it's nice. Now we're going to head out to uh, the golf, right? I think it's the bay. Bay, golf, ocean, Mississippi. It's all the same to me. We did a lot of walking around in New Orleans yesterday. And I was pretty beat when we got back to the van. So Steve made dinner. And then this morning I got up and made eggs. I feel like it kind of just works itself out naturally how we divvy up responsibilities. It's not like we really talk about it that much, but I feel like it all works out, right? Yep. So anyway, this morning I made eggs with spinach. Not sure what we're going to do later today for meals. Then this morning, as Steve said, this is kind of a secondary park that was, well, not actually in the plan because we were in this area about two years ago. And we went to a really nice park right nearby here, but when we got there this morning, it was all blocked off. They're paving the roads and they wouldn't let us in. But thankfully this one was right nearby, so we're gonna take a little walk here. Yeah, we really put the miles on yesterday. We went to the gym to start the day, and my usual workout routine is to do, to start with treadmill. And then I'm gonna guess we walked probably a couple miles easily in New Orleans. So, by nightfall, we're such a wuss. I was very tired. Probably <laughs> the most tired I've ever been since we started full-time van life. Seriously? Yeah. So it's a matter of making some dinner, and I think we were both in bed, and I, know I was probably asleep by 9, 30, 10 o'clock for sure. Those two miles of flat walking were brutal. Can you imagine if we tried to do any through hiking? Like no. <laughs> That's not my speed anyway. Especially not his. <laughs> I love me a good bench. <laughs> and his major in college was sport and exercise science. Isn't that funny? That is kind of funny. <laughs> Look, there's a bench. And there's another bench. Nice. It's your lucky day. And it's in the shade, even better. <laughs> the park we parked at, get it? actually connects to Bayfront Park where we went a couple years ago so we're actually walking there right now. Oh, maybe the whole park is closed. Someone told us there were some water moccasins so we've been keeping our eyes out for those but so far we haven't seen them. Well I guess this is the end of the trail for us. They're doing some work here on the pier. 
So that's it. Time to turn around. Look, there's a cardinal. There's snakes down there. I found a snake. That's your, your Ropobus maximus. Yeah, rope snake. As we've been making our way more southeast towards Florida for Thanksgiving, it's been really nice to get back in some more familiar feeling surroundings, I think. And just being out by the water there was a perfect example. It just feels a little bit like home. Yep. I think that's the first time we've been near water, yeah, in quite a while, that kind of water. So just to feel that, it's not the ocean, but it's close, the bay, to feel the breeze and smell some of those smells we love the ocean. So when we're starting to see some little critters and different plants like we're more familiar with. We saw some little lizards. So it's special. It's kind of a nice feeling. Well, it didn't take Steve long. He found his bench. I'll see you later. Mm. Forget about the milk mustache, water mustache all the way. So tonight I'm sitting here watching Matt and Nat. They're live. They're the ones we had just seen when we were in Austin. They're giving out some jackeries tonight, some little ones to charge your phone and things like that. So I'm trying to win. <laughs> While I'm doing that, Steve's been listening to football. Everybody. Good morning. We have arrived in the Sunshine State finally, but as you can see, it's not very sunny today. Uh, with the recent weather we've been having and our goal to get to see family for Thanksgiving, we've basically just been driving a couple hours at a time each day, breaking that up with some time at the library. We've basically been doing like an hour or two each morning and another hour or two each evening. So last night we made it to about the east side of Pensacola to a Cracker Barrel after being in Daphne, Alabama. No. What's the state? Mississippi. Uh, one of those states yesterday at the library for a few hours, actually several hours. We almost closed it down. But uh, we wanted to get back out the van so Steve could listen to the game. And then I spent some time watching Matt and Matt trying to win ourselves a little jackery, but I didn't win. So we'll have to hope for another opportunity. We hadn't really planned it this way, but Black Friday is coming up, holiday season, so we're going to take advantage of that and order a bunch of things and uh, hopefully get some good deals. Hello? Yeah. Nope. Yeah, uh -huh. we have. Okay, yep. Yeah. Well, we're trying to film for uh, YouTube. Yeah, we do YouTube. Yeah. Steve and Audra. Check us out. Okay, yep, we'll talk to you later. Yep, okay, bye.
Sorry about that. So weird. I think we're finally gonna replace our EcoFlow Delta. Get one that works. And hopefully a new computer for me too. It'd be really nice to get all back up and running with our technology. So we just had to turn it off and start it again. We just got back to the van from the library, working there for several hours, and we started up the van and I went back to hook up the DC to DC power on our EcoFlow Delta to charge it up, and it registered zero input. That's a first. So Steve was just back here troubleshooting a little bit. I don't know what's going on. He turned it off, restarted it, it seems to be working now, but have we mentioned we're going to be really glad to get a new power unit? This one's driving us nuts. The kitty doesn't mind though. No stress for her. We have an expert pancake maker in the house. What kind of pancakes are we having? Some kind of weird shapes. What's in them? Chocolate chips. Yeah, because you do it right. After four months traveling around the country, we made it back to Florida to spend some much needed time with family. We spent the morning getting ready for a Thanksgiving feast. When all the food was ready, the family discovered a very fun surprise. We'll have a new member of the family joining us soon. I think we might run out of food. <laughs> After dinner, we had another surprise. We got to find out if we're having another little boy or girl in the family. Is that what you're going to wear, Uncle Steve? Yeah, that's her next wedding. Yeah. <laughs> 